Hi, I'm John Gernick. Welcome once again to the Felpro Field Test Garage in Skokie, Illinois. I'm going to talk to you today about a wide variety of gasketing materials that are out there and what you need to do to prep those various sealing surfaces before you install one of our gaskets. Felpro has been in business for almost 100 years and in that time materials have changed from simple things like paper gaskets and cork rubber gaskets, today's high technology gaskets like Permadry Plus intake gaskets and MLS head gaskets. So in just a second, I'm going to take you over to some different engine castings and show you what you need to do to prep those sealing surfaces before you install a Felpro gasket. So I have a variety of engine castings here in front of you um, to show you what you need to do to prep those different sealing surfaces before you install a Felpro gasket. So I have a cast iron cylinder head, a cast iron exhaust manifold, uh, a couple of different cylinder heads, a foreign and a domestic aluminum cylinder head, and a plastic intake manifold. Um, that one takes a press in place rubber type gasket. So each application requires a little bit different method of cleaning these surfaces and getting them ready before you install a gasket. Main thing to make sure that you do is these surfaces are clean and dry and you remove all the foreign material that's on these surfaces before you install that gasket. Now, one of the things that I like to use, uh, one of my favorite tools, um, I use a die grinder with a fine wire wheel in it. And the reason I use a fine wire wheel is it won't alter the OE surface finish. It'll keep it in the same RA finish that you need, especially on a cylinder head, um, you don't want to go changing that because that will affect the sealing ability of the head gasket. Some of the other tools that I use, and you probably have as well, um, I have a razor blade and a holder. Um, I have a couple types of gasket scrapers. This is your, your typical carbon steel uh, gasket scraper. Um, this is a, a really nice scraper. This one has a carbide edge on it and it's square and flat. This comes in really handy for removing carbon um, and material from the cylinder heads uh, without changing the surface finish and without gouging the surfaces um, that you're trying to seal. Uh, some of the other things I use, I have a brass wire brush. Um, that's good for the aluminum surfaces. It won't dig in or gouge them. And then I also have a variety of uh, different rifle brushes. These come in handy for going down into the bolt holes um, and removing dirt and crud and RTV from out of these different holes that are um, on the different castings. So I have two different aluminum cylinder heads here. Uh, one's a foreign application, one's a domestic application. And usually what I, I'll start with is once the head is off, um, I'll start with my carbide scraper and go along and, and remove the carbon and whatever um, foreign material might be on that cylinder head. In this case, this engine had an MLS head gasket, so there's little bits of rubber coating that are still stuck to the, uh, to the cylinder head. So once I kind of get that all cleaned up, then I'll grab my wire wheel, fire that up, and go around the different areas of the head and, and clean up that cylinder surface. And uh, same thing, I'll do that on here. This is the uh, exhaust manifold side and the intake side. Clean all those up, and then I'll check them to make sure that they're flat. I will then, since I have a profilometer, I'll go ahead, I'll put my profilometer on here, and I'll check the surface finish RA to make sure that it's within specifications. Um, if you send the cylinder heads out to be cleaned or machined, your machine shop should make sure that they get those cylinder head sealing surfaces back in the proper RA finish for those MLS head gaskets. So in this next application, this is a plastic intake manifold. Something we're seeing more and more of out there. They're trying to go with lighter and lighter castings. And there's nothing here to scrape. There's nothing here to take a wire wheel to. You can't take it over to the bench grinder and clean it out. So basically what you do is you'll get a small screwdriver and you'll peel out the gasket and a lot of times you're left with uh, some residual oil inside the groove. 
So that'll require, usually you'll take it and put it in your uh, parts washer, get rid of that residual oil, and um, if, if, you, if it's still oily in there, uh, a little brake clean or a um, little carburetor cleaner, spray that in the groove and blow dry it. You want to make sure when you install a molded rubber gasket like this that this surface is clean and dry. Um, the oil or anything wet inside there, uh, whether it's cleaning fluid or parts washer, um, will act as a lubricant and can cause that gasket to either slip out of place or cause it to extrude and give you a, a possible leak problem down the road. So now that I've talked about the various ways of cleaning the ceiling surfaces and the tools that I like to use, I'm gonna to talk to you now about something, tools that you should never ever use, and that's these three items right down here. These particular tools are great for removing rust and dirt and crud in a very short amount of time, but they will damage the ceiling surfaces and create waviness and havoc in the engine compartment. So don't use these. Um, you might think that you're, they're great because they clean things up in a really quick manner, but they're gonna damage the ceiling surfaces and either require you to send them out to a machine shop to get them repaired in such a way that the ceiling surface is the correct finish for whatever gasket you're using, or they're gonna destroy the casting and you're gonna to have to buy a new one. So now that you've seen the different ways that you should prep, the variety of different ceiling surfaces that are out there, whether they're cast iron, aluminum, or plastic, um, make sure you go and watch one of my other videos that cover how to prep head bolts before you install them. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm John Gernick from the Felpro Field Test Garage in Skokie, Illinois.